guys. I'm Anne. Welcome back to Chronically Beautiful, where we are trying to live our best life, even though we probably don't feel like it. I uh, just got home from work, so this is where I'm at. <clears throat> I'm so glad you're here. Today we are going to do a Shop Miss A haul. I am so excited for this. I love Shop Miss A. I think this is my like third or fourth order from them. And it's a big one, so I wanted to share it with you. If you enjoy this video and you want to see more like it, please give this a thumbs up and uh, leave some comments. It really helps YouTube to notice my channel and uh, hopefully get me out there a little more. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads. All right, let's dive right in. Most everything was a dollar. Maybe a couple of items were like a dollar eighty-eight or a dollar fifty-five. A couple of items were maybe like five dollars, but that would be that would be a brush set that came with like five brushes. Like 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 could I say like anymore? Anyhow. So the prices aren't listed, but it's it's pretty cheap. And this is about thirty-five dollars worth of items. So I'm gonna get all this packaging off and uh, we'll jump right in. So the first thing I got was this item here. It's called a bubble bar. I feel like I really knew what it was when I was reading the description, but now I'm looking at it going, what in God's name is this for? So maybe it's just a bar of soap. I, I don't know, but it smells pretty good. And I thought it looked interesting on the soap train. I also got, there's hair on it. Please let that be my hair. Ugh, gross. Okay. So I got these little guys. They are soap sheets. So they're dry sheets and I've seen these before but like not for a really long time and I was really psyched about these so um, my son plays baseball and sometimes that means that there's only a porta john there for an entire weekend tournament and like you just hand sanitizer is okay but it's not great so they come in these little sheets in this awesome little dispenser and it just pops close Oop, slippery little sucker it's like a bar of soap um, shaped like a bar of soap and then so you just take this out and you would like put it in your hand and squeeze water in your hand and then it turns into soap. So like his hands are always dirty between games, my hands, everybody's a mess. So just to have these so you can like actually wash your hands, we always have bottled water and stuff, I think is going to be super, super handy, especially for games. But anytime you're somewhere um, hiking or camping or who knows what. But for us, it's, this is going to be in my game bag for sure. I got these steaming eye masks. And I got one in their self-warming chamomile and one in lavender. After removing the sachet, the steam mask instantly begins to heat up. Carefully place mask over your eyes and secure ear loops. Fancy. Remove mask after 20 minutes of relaxation. Discard the, discard, discard the mask after the single use. This sounded really cool to me. For a buck, I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it. It might just be like a nice way to relax. Um, or if I have a headache in general, I'm just all about some like fun new self-care things. Claudia Stevens Nail Fix Mix. Fast and easy strengthener restores strength and resilience to weak and brittle nails. Help prevent breaking and splitting. And all these items so far have been a dollar. Here's my little scissors. Try not to booger up my nails, so I'm prepared today. I'm always a sucker for some kind of new nail product. Oh, this packaging is excessive for this like tiny little thing. Come on, Claudia. I thought that, you know, I expected more from you. Okay, so it is just Fast and Easy Strengthener. It's in like a little pen. It is a brush tip. It looks like you turn this thingy and it comes out and you brush it on your nails. And I have a press-ons on right now, so I'm not going to use it because my nails are covered, but they will need it after I take these guys off. Um, so yeah, always nice to have. Throw it in the purse, whatever. Is this little guy, which I'm pretty psyched about. It is a, it just says self-care tools. And this is by the brand AOA Studios. So is the soap. This is their house brand. And I've been really impressed with everything I've tried by, by AOA Studios. And this is just a little face massager. Ooh, it's like silicone. I thought these were going to be hard. I'm really excited this is soft. So it's just, you just roll that sucker on there and just get in there. I have, um, actually I just watched somebody else haul this that was talking about their TMJ. And I also have TMJ. So like this is good, this is like perfectly gets like right into the area where it always really hurts. I know I have a few students that suffer from that too. Get this thing for a buck. It gets right in there in that TMJ spot that hurts like under your ear and under your jaw. Yeah. Ooh, that's good stuff. I got it originally because I just was going to like use it to massage my face after I put my skincare on. I'd love to get one of those, um, 
is it like Nurse Jackie or whatever? I feel like that's an HBO show. But there's some, Tati uses it, it's like this purple thing that I would love to have, but they're like a billion dollars. So I'm gonna get the dollar cheapo gets the idea across version of it, but I would never have thought to use it for my TMJ until I saw this gal talk about it earlier. If I can remember her name, I'll, I'll look it up and I'll pop it in the thing below. But yeah, that's nice. Sorry, um, I got some eyelashes. Now they have some faux mink lashes and then they also have these guys. The faux mink ones I think are $1.88 or $1.55. These guys are a dollar. They are Rita, and they're the ones that are like small in the insides, and then they go bigger on the outsides, which I think is gonna be better for me with my heavily hooded lids. Brushes. I also got some brushes. Um, okay, so I've gotten brushes by the SHE brand, or SHE, it's S.HE, and this one they just called Cream. That was the name of it. And I mean, it just looks like a, a honestly, like a fluffy crease brush. But I was like, oh, cream, does that mean I use it for cream shadows? I don't know. It is basically a fluffy crease brush, but it is so soft, I cannot even tell you. Like, this feels like it is, like, from a very soft animal. It does not feel like a fake brush, and it is. It's synthetic, but oh my goodness. Like, I'm going to order, like, 30 more of these. Oh, it feels like a dream. Yes, she get it. Okay. Then I also got these two guys from... AOA Studios, again the Shop Miss A House brand. Oh, this little thing was on it. Um, it's like one of those things that like comes on an orange or a peach or whatever. Did you see that one thing when Jeffree Star had like an outfit on that looked like this? And then they compared it to like a pair and they were like, who wore it better? <laughs> I think he did. The pair had like a really pear shaped figure. <laughs> okay, so these are the F8 high def brush and the E108 high def brush. I thought they would be good for like getting into those key areas with like foundation or concealer and this little guy same thing like getting up in here with concealer and you know maybe doing eye primer. I'm not sure. I just don't have anything in my collection like them and I thought they were really interesting. And then I also decided to get these oval brushes. I'm like 65 days late for the artiste style brush party. I had one a while back. I did not like it. And well, I was using it and liking it, and then it broke because it came from like TJ Maxx or whatever. And then I got one the other day at the Dollar Tree, and it was like this guy. It was like a really teeny. Oh, these are so soft. Holy crap, are these soft? AOA Studios, man, they do not mess around. So I got this little guy, and I am loving it for doing my lower lid color and even, like, smudging out my upper lid. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to try these. It was five bucks. There's five brushes. So there's that one. There's this little guy, which I'm assuming you would, like, use it in here. It reminds me of, like, a dentist's tool. Um, so it's a little one. I don't know how much success I'll have with this because I struggle anyways with eyeshadow. And then there's this one that is a little thicker that I guess you could use for concealer, something smaller. And there's this guy that's a little bigger. And they don't feel, I mean, they feel like they were a dollar. Like you can see there's some give there. But they don't feel like super cheap. And the bristles are very densely packed and super soft. So I'm assuming this one could be like cream blush or even like contour, um, et cetera. And then there's this big guy, which is very heavy actually, um, for a foundation I'm assuming, or I don't know, do you do powder with these? I guess you could, but I'm gonna. They're so soft. Okay, anyways, so I'm gonna give these guys a whirl. I figure for five bucks, it's a good way to dive into this. Plus it looks really cool when you go like this. Hmm. Okay, focus, focus, man. All right, well, let's dive into the makeup. I guess this could have gone with like the non-makeup, but it's makeup, but it's not makeup. It is Super Strip Lash Adhesive, and I have heard really good things about this. It's $1.88, and I am hoping that this has a brush. Oh, it does, it says it right on there. 
because maybe that will help me to not like struggle so much because that little like hard ended thing that comes with the glue, I'm just not having it. I have this item already. I reordered it because I like it so much. It is the AOA Studios Go Brow Fiber Gel and I get medium brown. It is just a brow gel, but it has a teeny tiny little spoolie here that I really like when I'm just being lazy and just want to boop, 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 boop. And it's a great color and it's really easy to use and I just like it. As you can so. see, I'm not like living a life of snatched brows and all of that. I just try to make them a little more unruly and move along with my day. So highly recommend this good stuff. Ooh, okay. I have this beautiful eye palette. This is by Amuse Cosmetics. This reminds me a lot of like the little elf little 10 pan mad for matte palettes. It's like the same size, which is nice because I can store it in the same little thing. I keep those. So here we go. And oop, well that can just stay there. It was a sponge tip applicator. You can stay on the floor where you belong. These are good. I like them. I mean, they didn't like swatch the most beautifully, but they were a dollar. So I think I can put together one single look with this one single palette, which I always look for when I'm purchasing a palette. I think it's just beautiful shades. I'm loving this. Yeah. I'm going to wear green tomorrow. Green. Okay. I also got this AOA Studio Wonder Baked Eyeshadow. This is, first of all, like the most enormous eyeshadow I have ever seen. It is gigantic. Here's a highlighter that I ordered, which is smaller than this eyeshadow. I will never not have ivy colored AOA Studios Wonder Baked Eyeshadow. And we'll just throw this guy on here as well. And it does swatch really nicely. Well, it's a little patchy, um, but it is a really pretty color. And I also think I could work it into a look with the rest of that green palette, as well as a look with teal, um, because it's one of those colors that's kind of blue, kind of green, kind of teal, kind of turquoise, kind of fun. Okay, so these are crazy, but I saw them and they were a dollar and I was just like, you know what? Why the heck not? Let's just do it. Bam! Whoops. Oh, that was anticlimactic. Let's try again. Bam! These suckers are crazy. They're just wild colors. Like even the brown, like they've made brown look wild in this eyeshadow. So let's like, I'm dying to swatch these, so let's just go for it. Okay. Um, and we're gonna just bloop, whoa. And we're gonna go with the green. This is a very like Eastern Eagles hats off to you kind of green. And then the brown, which I'm just like totally not excited about. I feel like this is the poopiest, ugliest brown I've ever seen. <laughs> and I'm like not afraid of brown shadow. I just have a lot of other ones that are not like a skid mark kind of a brown. <laughs> That's what this is, skid mark brown and that is what it looks like but honestly i think you could make that look pretty and make it work it's <laughs> skid mark okay yeah it definitely looks like just poo on my arm um okay so that's this one which we're gonna call the 90s vibe one and then we got this guy which is a much more 80s vibe kind of feel we're gonna go right underneath skid mark and i can feel it i can feel it that it is chunky this is very like Mopar Sublime Green. <laughs> Aren't you glad you spent a dollar on this palette? Whoa, holy orange. That is a beautiful shade and it is super pretty. I love that. It's like almost like corally. Ah, oh, that is so pretty. I'm so impressed with these. Look out, James Charles. Slash Wet and Wild. Oh! Wow. Yep. Also shimmery. Also beautiful. See how it is a little more green. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, we're going to run that guy. Also swatching very strong. Beautiful color. They've got all got this kind of satin sheen. They're not out of control shimmers. They're, I definitely call it a satin. And then we're going to go to the purple is a super vibrant royal purple it's hard to get purple right we will see it is a little patchy in the swatch um I'm like swatching in the butt crack of my arm now um but again a really pretty color maybe buildable we shall see 
Um, hey, I've been finger painting. So that's the 80s and 90s shades. I gotta tell you, I'm super impressed with these. 10 shades for two bucks. One more eye product, that is the LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Summer Love, Ooh, otherwise known as Disco Green. Holy crap, it's like completely filled with glitter. All right, I got this again because I wear a lot of green, a lot of teal for work, and it is just a big fat jumbo crayon. It is super creamy, like I'm not even pushing on it like at all, and it's just gliding right on, but it is literally filled with glitter. I had one like this in the 90s in my club going days that was silver, and I used to just like layer that sucker on, and then I'd put a bunch like on my decolletage, and I thought I was so cool. And then I put some like here. I was doing highlight before highlight was cool. Only I looked like a flipping disco ball. Uh, to be honest with you, I probably still will wear this. And I'll even wear it to work and I don't even care because I usually like to do like a fun game day eye look with teals. So this is crazy. It's just glitter, but I'm going to make it work. Oh, one more eye thing. I'll do it in reverse order. This is an eye primer. Eyeshadow primer by Amuse Cosmetics in the shade Blank Canvas. They had two shades. This one to me seemed a lot, whoops, and I ripped the box. That's okay, I'm not gonna use the box anymore. I'm assuming this is gonna try to be like the MAC Paint Pot that everybody uses, the Painterly and the Soft Ochre. It is a smaller pot than that, for sure. Um, it is a creamier sort of texture than that. Oops, and I just got like green gunk in it because I was swatching. Um, this one is the more yellow. I just do it over top of them. The other one that they had, which whose name I can't remember, was more pink. So the pink one is more like the painterly, and this is more like the soft ochre, I would say, which is what I use because I have yellow undertones. So it's, I don't know, it feels a little greasy, I'll be, I'll be honest with you, so we'll have to wear it with some shadow and see how it does. I think I'm going to do a full face of Shot Masse, so I'm going to use this when I do it. Let's go to some face products. I didn't get like one, I didn't plan a full face when I bought this stuff. I just planned on stuff that I wanted to try. So they have a new foundation. This is the AOA Studio Buildable, A Plus Buildable Satin Foundation. It is a glass bottle. It is a dropper. It's very liquidy as you would expect. It feels like it's gonna be very light. Um, it says light to medium coverage, I believe. Um, formula, long lasting natural finish buildable coverage. All right, so that's that. Your basic dropper foundation. Glass bottle, nice packaging. Uh, 0.64 ounces, which I think is like a little less. I think you usually get like one ounce with most of these kind of products, but it's a dollar. And now the whole lid is like covered with shimmery eyeshadow. I'm a wreck. I'm going to be sticking my green fingers all up in the rest of this. Can't do it. I need to wash my hands. I'll be back. This is madness. So I got this. It is enormous. It was a dollar. It is a the Zuri Flawless Shaping and Strobing Face Contouring and Highlighting Kit. I don't know how much strobing we're gonna do because these three shades are matte and then this one seems to have like a glittery overspray situation. I don't know though, maybe, ooh, it feels pretty soft to be honest. Yeah, this looks like pretty dang matte to me. So, oh, it's like, you know what it reminds me of, but like a way cheaper version? The um, Too Faced. <sighs> Chocolate, Cocoa Contour Kit. Um, it reminds me of the highlighter in that, where it's like just glittery. So this is just glittery. It does not, it's not a shimmer, it's glitter. It really reminds me of that. To be honest, like this whole thing actually reminds me of that. Let me go get it, let's compare. Okay, so I'm back. So this is what I was talking about, the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Chisel to Perfection um, Face Contouring and Highlighting Kit. So it does come with this great little kabuki brush, which I love. So these are the two kits, and they are really similar, like really similar. I mean, whoa. Let's, wow. I mean, I'm looking at these things side to side, you guys, and they're literally the exact same colors. Let's see how they swatch side by side um, and see how they do. So we've got this dark cocoa in the Too Faced and this shade, this warmer shade here in the Zuri palette, and we're gonna do those two next to each other. So I don't remember which one was which, to be honest. Huh. 
but they are both a little chunky and they both look literally exactly the same on the skin. It looks a little different on camera, but in person they look exactly the same. And honestly, when I stuck my finger in the Zuri one, it felt softer than the Too Faced one. Ah, we found a dupe! Okay, let's go to Light Cocoa. Light Cocoa is like the setting powder, under eye powder, the, the cutting, whatever you want to call it. They do, they do. This feels softer. It does. Okay, so that, this is them on my fingers. And the... Again, I don't remember which one was which. What is wrong with me exactly? So we're gonna throw those guys on. But again, they literally look exactly the same. Exactly the same on the skin, exactly the same on my fingers. <sighs> now we're gonna go to what they're calling Pop of Light, which was the one that I showed you already. It's like a little bit peachy, but uh, it feels hard. And this one feels soft. This one is the Too Faced, and this one is the Zuri. You can even see on my finger that this one is not as creamy. Um, and we're gonna go through, and again, they look exactly the same. This is a full out dupe, people. And then we'll do the last one, which they're calling Medium Cocoa, and it's the like taupey, cooler shade for contour, and this one is the Too Faced, and this one is the Zuri, and we're just gonna... They're, again, exactly the same. Like, literally exactly the same. They're looking a little different on camera, but I am telling you, if anything, the Zuri one is, like, creamier and more pigmented. <laughs> Maybe that's why I got this at TJ Maxx. I think this original price on this thing is, like, somewhere around $50. And it does smell like chocolate though, and this one smells like nothing. Um, this was somewhere around $50, and I think you can get it at TJ Maxx right now for somewhere around $24.99, but this was somewhere around exactly $1. So uh, yeah, if you're trying to decide whether to get this or not, skip it and buy this, because they were literally exactly the same. Look at me knowing my collection and finding a dupe. It's my first dupe discovery. Ah! Thumbnail. Let's go to blush again. I thought this was going to be like tiny and it is huge. This is the Amuse Cosmetics Blush Trio. There are three shades. They all appear to have some shimmer to them. This one is more of like a peachy pink. This one is a pinky pink. And that was overspray. Okay, these are matte. And this is a peachy peach. Yeah, these are matte underneath the overspray. I just ruined the hard embossing, but I don't care. Okay, so peachy peach, pinky pink, and peachy pink. And you can see there's like stuff flying everywhere. They're again a little chunky, but they are pretty pigmented. Right. Next thing we had was a bronzer. This is again by Amuse Cosmetics. It's a pretty big pan. It was a buck. I got it in the color... Item number KL179 Mix 3 Matte Bronzer. And it's... I don't know. I mean, I'll try it. But it definitely has that kind of like skid mark feel to it. I don't know. It might work. It's this one here. It's a little warm. It's not like orangey warm. It's like poopy warm. It Maybe it's like more green leaning. But it does. It has it's like baby diaper brown. I'm gonna have to try this in real life to see. It does feel like pretty soft, um, and it, it went on. I mean, I don't like a bronzer to be super pigmented. I like to be able to build, so we'll give it a whirl. But yeah, it definitely has like a green leaning brown poopy skid mark kind of thing going on, which is sort of a bummer. I got a darker shade because I am kind of tan right now from summer. You can't tell, but for me, this is really damn. Okay. And then I got three different highlighters from three of the different AOA lines. I got the AOA Velour Studio Highlighter in Baby. And I have a bunch of the AOA Studio Velour eyeshadows, and I love them. So I thought I'd give the uh, highlighter a try. I was shocked to see that it came in the same size pan that the eyeshadows come in. I thought it would come in a bigger, like, highlighter-sized pan. So this is pretty small. Um, this stuff is really cool. It has, like, a... 
like a, it's mushy. It's like a mousse. Well, I mean, it says that right on there, I think. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's a velour highlighter. It is a mousse. There's glitter in this one. You can see it's kind of like wet. And then you rub it in. I love the eyeshadows. They don't crease. They are beautiful. They are blendable. Um, that's really, oh, that one's like a glitter bomb. Holy crap. Let's put some on. Oh, my battery's dead. There's lights on this, but my battery died. All right. Holy God in heaven. That is just like glitter queen. I don't know that I will. Who am I kidding? I go nuts with the highlighter. I don't even care. I don't care if I'm like going to work to be a teacher or going to church or what have you. I love a good highlighter. This sucker is um, lit, as the young people say. Holy crap. Well, let's even her out. I just like blobbed it on there. It's crazy. It is like straight up though glitter, which I'm, you know, not wild about, but I think we could make it work for maybe like a pop of color on the lid, whatever. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful color. Can you see it? Is it happening? Um, but yeah. And then I also got the Wonder Baked Highlighter in Macaroon because it got really good reviews. So I thought I'd give that a whirl. And then I got the Perfect pressed highlighter in tiara. So I wanted to try all of the AOA Studios different highlighters. This is like a champagne color. Uh, again, not a huge fan of baked anything unless it has like frosting and chocolate chips and stuff. <laughs> Gluten-free, of course. Um, but I, like I said, this got really good reviews that like did nothing. I've got too much going on everywhere. Let's bring it over here. So I wanted to give it a whirl. Woo. Okay. That's really pretty. It's your basic like champagne pop of color highlighter. Really nice. And then this one again was the color Tiara and it is a pinky, kind of pinky gold kind of thing. So we're gonna try that. That is really pretty. And then let's go that guy right there. Oh, that's really pretty. Let's get it where you can actually see it. Whew. Yeah, I like that. That's really beautiful. Okay, I have one final product left in the world's longest haul, and that is the Glam Matte Lip Gloss, color six. And when I opened it, it had like this like glob of like white fuzz or blue fuzz, like stuck all in these like gemstones here, which I'm sure must be Swarovski crystals for a dollar. Um, but yeah, there's like this big wad of fuzz that I had to like pull out of there. Must have been from the inspector's gloves. Ooh. <laughs> okay. So I just, I was amused by this idea, amused by this amused lip gloss. I was intrigued by the idea of this matte lip gloss because usually lip glosses are shiny. That's kind of their thing. I already have lipstick on, but we're gonna, we'll swatch it. It is a taupey purpley nude, which I'll be honest, I think is a good color on me. I always seem to have good makeup days when I wear colors like this, and I always get lots of compliments. So I figured if I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna try it. I have a like pinky, peachy nude right now, so let's gonna mix. All right, so that's that. We'll see. I like the color, not with this eye. I look like a dead body. Oh, and the final thing that I got, is this the final thing? Yes, the very final item I got was this Zori Flawless Makeup Setting Mist with a semi-gloss finish. Now available at Home Depot. Um, helps prevent, keeps your makeup looking gorgeously just applied for up to 16 hours and helps prevent makeup from melting, fading, or settling into fine lines. Weightless semi-gloss finish. Well, that is a lot of promises for a buck. Set all the mess that we've just put on our face. Mm. Okay. Um, I think it looks nice. Semi-gloss? I don't know that I call it semi-gloss. I think and no matter what they say, it always just ends up looking like nothing once it dries, but that's just me. All right, well, that is my Shop Miss A haul. I would highly recommend you check out Shop Miss A if you have not done so already. It is a really awesome site. There's tons of stuff there. There's like earrings and jewelry and accessories, and like underpants and other weird things, but they do have a lot of cool stuff and a lot of really high quality makeup. Um, I'm gonna do a full face of Shop Miss A stuff at some point. Um, let me know in the comments if you would like to see that and I'll, I'll make it sooner than later if you're into it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for coming and spending this time with me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hey, just getting hydrated.
got it. I just feel like a hamster drinking out of these Camelback bottles because you have to like squeeze it to get the water to come out. I don't love that. It's like got a very hamster vibe. Struggle is real. 